What's going on guys? So today I'm going to be seeing what happens when you put a foreign disc in a DVD player. So I got my Magnavox DVD player, got my remote, got a bunch of games. So let's go ahead and get started. So first off, I'm just going to go with this game called Hidden and Dangerous for the Sega Dreamcast. And we're going to see what happens. So there's nothing special about this DVD player just a normal DVD player it's loading see something happen let me grab my remote in case I need to press something track one oh, what is that stop alright I don't know if you guys heard that or not but it just played a warning first it played a weird buzzing noise and then it played a warning that said this is game is only for Sega Dreamcast or something like that so I've heard that warning before sometimes you don't hear it sometimes you do alright that was that was interesting I don't know why I played that weird buzzing noise at first but I was going to do Crash Bash for the PS1 alright it's loading up grab my remote Okay, Crash Bash. Let's click on it. Oh, is it playing? PS1 on DVD? Here we go. Oh, nope. That's a nope. How about this? I don't know why there's a Spyro fire file. Alright, that's got nothing. Huh, that was weird. I have no idea why there's a Spyro file on the Crash Bash game disc. It's got a little hint of Spyro right here, but it's definitely not a Spyro game. Alright, GTA 3, PS2. Let's get it. Let's see if we can get something special to happen. Play some GTA 3 on my DVD player. Alright, so... It's not even loading anything up. Doesn't even sound like it's trying over here. So let's just sound like that's about it for the PS2 game. That's unfortunate. Had some luck with the PS1 game, but nothing with the PS2. So Call of Duty Ghost for the PS3. Now I don't, I don't know. It's a, a Blu-ray disc, so I'm not sure how much I, I should expect. Maybe some uh, forwards compatibility. Like we're always hoping for. Loading. Alright. Sounds like it's struggling. Yeah, sounds like a no go. Let's get that disc out of there. Alright, so next up, we got GTA 5 for the PS4. If I can get this PS3 case closed. There we go. GTA 5, PS4, here we go. So, PS3 game, Blu ray disc, PS4 games also Blu ray disc. I'm not sure how much I should expect from this one. Usually, I'm just hoping for an error message or something, but it sounds like it's doing the same thing. It's making a weird noise. Let's go ahead and get it out of there. Move on to the next game put that away next up well Xbox One games also a blu-ray I'm just gonna go ahead and put that to the side let's try Prince of Persia for the Xbox original Xbox Xbox One also uh, <laughs> I don't know I still don't know why they came up with the the name Xbox One now they got two Xbox ones you know I don't, I don't know whatever okay So it's got like this. Is it actually playing? No way. Oh, come on. This is an Xbox game disc. Please put it in your Xbox to start playing. Well, that was pretty neat, but it didn't help me out too much. 
thought I was actually about to play for a minute. All right, so skate three. Maybe we'll get some luck here. Had some luck so far with the PS1 game, the Xbox game. Uh, nothing else so far. PS2, thought it might do something, but it, it didn't really do anything. So, Xbox 360, it's up to you now. All right, here we go. Oh, same thing. Play this disc, put it in a 360 console. All right, understandable. They don't want me to play an Xbox game, Xbox 360 game on a DVD player. I get it, I get it. All right, so next up, Mario Kart for the Wii. Let's try it out. It's also a DVD format, so maybe it'll give us something like the PS1 and the Xbox or Xbox 360. Show some kind of splash screen. Loading. I see that loading screen a whole lot. All right, so I don't—I just don't even hear anything happening. Now I hear a little bit of something from. Oh, error. Bad disc. All right. First time we got that. Now if it'll eject it, please. For some reason, this DVD player, you have to press the eject button really hard for it to actually eject. So I was going to try The Dark Knight, but it's also a Blu-ray, and we've seen what happened to Blu-ray so far, so maybe later. So Nintendo Land for the Wii U. So the Wii just gave us that bad disc error, so I'm thinking this might do the same thing. I don't know. Let's hope not. So it's loading now. It's making some weird noises down in this disc tray. Still says loading though. Nah, it's making some weird noises. I'm gonna go ahead and eject that. Sounds like it's about to blow up or something. Let's let's avoid blowing up, please. All right, so let's put that to the side. So next up, Sonic Riders for the GameCube. Classic. Haven't played that actual GameCube game in a long time. So, oh, it looks like they actually have a little groove carved out there so I can actually fit a GameCube game in there. So I shouldn't be too worried this time. I usually get kind of worried about GameCube games just because they're so small. I feel like they're going to just get stuck in the stuck in the disc tray, but we're taking the risk today. Alright, so it's loading. Bad disc. So that was pretty quickly. Error, bad disc. All right, got my disc back. If you've seen some, some of my other foreign disc videos, sometimes it looks like the GameCube game is not coming back. But fortunately, this time it did. All right, so let's move on to a special game we got right here. So Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild Nintendo Switch. So if you haven't actually played this game or you don't have a Switch, definitely recommend it. So, uh, not sure how we're gonna play this one. Where it'll fit right there, maybe. Look at that thing. That thing is tiny. Hmm. If I just stick it in, I don't know. That's a little bit scary. If I close it in here, nope. Hmm. Well, I got no more ideas. If you got any ideas, let me know in the comments. But that's it for that one. So, two more special games coming up. We're going to start wrapping it up. So, All-Star Baseball 99 for the N64. Let's go ahead and check it out. Maybe I can stick this one in the disc tray. Bada bing, bada boom. Uh, that's a no-go. That's, yeah, that's a no-go. So, uh, maybe, maybe Super Nintendo. Just make some magic, please. I haven't had one of these games work yet, and it's it's getting it's getting disheartening. I just want one of them to work. Nintendo needs to step up their compatibility. I mean, come on, it's, it can't be that hard. Just a cartridge, just got some contacts on there. Just gotta make some contacts with the, the disc reader, right? Might do something. But uh, so that's that's all the games I have. But I have one more special item. So if you watched any of my foreign disc videos, you probably know what this last one is. 
Got a ten dollar bill. So we're gonna see if we can get some money to work in this DVD player. I hope so. It still hasn't worked out yet, but I'm always holding out hope. So I kept it in there. You know, feed it. Come on. All right. So that's nothing. I was trying to load though. I didn't fold it up. I just won't even take it. Maybe I should have given it a twenty dollar bill, but I don't know. It's still trying to load for some reason. Oh, and there it goes. No disc. Yeah, obviously no disc. I was trying to put money in it. I was trying to buy a DVD. All right, guys. So thanks for watching this video. If you liked it, make sure to leave a thumbs up and go watch the other foreign disc videos. And hope you guys have a great day.